nine that I want to be like an artist who who made statements and whose music didn't divide, but I've always loved bringing people together. Or actually, I still am a child. I still have very childlike qualities and characteristics, you know, especially when I'm performing. I don't really have that many, you know, boundaries or where I'm living in a boarding house with like five of the girls and I was literally selling those CDs out of my boarding house. I just didn't want to be too influenced by the standardized teachings, old teachings that you know teach us to conform or uh, to be fearful of, of uh, uh, you know, taking an unconventional route in terms of your career choice. We don't believe in that. Good morning, Cy Boys and Cyber Girl. She definitely is a muse for me and an inspiration. I've chosen to speak about the android because the android is known as the other. African American women and men are known as the other. Uh, where, you know, immigrants who come to the States or wherever, there will become a time where we'll live with androids because of technology advancing so fast. Computers will have mapped out our human brain. How will we get along with one another? Will we treat androids inhumanely? Will we look at them as they are being fearful of them? Teach our kids to be fearful of them? And so Cindy is just somebody that I wanted to highlight um, because she's the arc and uh, she's the mediator between the haves and the have-nots. I'm just, you know, posing those questions with you. How are we going to deal with accepting another race? Surrealism is very inspiring to me. I started to see sounds in, in color. When I was recording the arc and joy, we would speak in terms of color. Like we want a song that felt really purple or, you know, that's kind of psychedelic. Some bold, bright red, lime green, blue, and maybe not wonder if there's the music producer and Chuck Lightman and my writing partner. We all understood. A lot of the songs came to me in my dreams. Thank God I had my iPhone in. Um, I think we created some transformative music. I don't think it, I can't compare this album to any other album. I hope it stays around like songs in the key of life, you know, Stevie Wonder songs in the key of life, or music in my mind. During the times of just trying to find your sanity, I want this music to be self empowered. So, obviously, we all know you're never seen without your tux, mm -hmm. and it's your staple piece. Um, you mentioned um, before it was a way for people to look back at you and not be able to define the, the era that you mm -hmm. were in. One, I wear a uniform. This is my uniform, my work uniform. I want to stay very connected to the working class. You know, uh, my mother you know, was a janitor, my father drove trash trucks and my stepfather works in the post office. So I'm for the people, the working class, this is paying homage to them. And at the same time though, uh, I do think that it's empowering uh, women to just find a new way. Not that there's anything wrong with wearing a dress, I own lots of dresses and heels, but there's uh, so many ways to still command attention and be sexy. There are more options and alternatives for the next generation of girls to come. I love her. Um, she and I have bonded and we've become very close. We were on tour together. She believes in individuality and freedom and I'm so glad that there are more women who are out there like myself and, and her. It's just one where I feel like, you know, the time is shifting. It's important that we unite. It's important that we celebrate our differences. The people understand that we're not all monolithic and that's okay. Uh, we don't all have the same ideas and beliefs, but that's okay. And love should always bring us together. Music, art, those are things that I think people bond over. A lot of people are kind of held in you know, some type of musical messiah, especially in the soul world. <laughs> I mean, I've heard everything. You know, I don't really get too high over praises. I think people mean well, uh, and I don't get too low over critics' you know, opinions and let everyone else talk and discuss, you know. I gotta keep my 